Hi, this is Wes Fryer. It's May 19th, 2014. And I'd like to just document and share really quick how I'm setting up the Minecraft EDU student workstations in our computer lab so that they are ready to connect to the computers we're using as servers. I have had, this past semester, students go ahead and write the address of the two different computers we're using. One happens to be a Mac and one is a Dell for local servers. These are local addresses here only on our school network that students can connect to. And it's not a bad thing to have students type this in, but in order to streamline the access and allow students to just more quickly get into the lesson, um, what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and click on um, multiplayer here. And I can see that one of these has been entered in, but they didn't label it correctly to say that that was the Mac. So I'm going to come in here and say edit this, and I'm going to indicate that this is the Mac server, which is kind of how I designate them. And then I'm going to uh, say add a server, and I'm going to say that this is the Dell, and I'm going to type in this address. Now, unfortunately, these addresses do change sometimes because they're not static addresses. They're dynamically given, and so these have changed a couple, you know, like maybe twice during the semester. But by putting in this address, um, students are just going to see this immediately when they when they go to multiplayer and so they're going to be able to, to say join the server and they're going to be able to connect and they're going to be able to get right into the server world that I've created for this lesson so this is going to streamline our internet access quite a bit and it is something that takes a bit of time I don't know another way to kind of get around this and make it faster but it definitely speeds up the process when students are logging on to a shared server to just have that entered right into uh, their client workstation so they can get to it quickly.